You know you're in trouble because that's an ominous opening theme song. This is Mindstorm on the Vectrex, the built-in game on my Vectrex. Note the overlay, all Vectrex games come with an overlay that you put over the Vectrex itself. If you have no idea what a Vectrex is, watch my review of the Vectrex console. It's like its own television and game system in one. These are vector-based graphics instead of the pixels that we're used to these days. The monitor is a CRT cathode ray tube monitor powered by alternating current power. None of that DC battery-powered crap. And I hit the escape button just in time, which works like hyperspace. You just zip to some random point in the screen and hope that you're not crushed. The Vectrex controller has four buttons, which are labeled on the bottom of the overlay. Fire, thrust, and escape. The other button just calls for help. But no one answers. Feels a lot like Asteroids when you start playing it, but there's some big differences in here that make this even more fun and exciting in Mindstorm. I prefer this game to Asteroids. It has a lot in common with Geometry Wars, in fact, which sort of replicates the vector graphics style. The audio comes out of a speaker on the bottom of the Vectrex. I have a lavalier mic laying beneath it, picking up the sound, which is surprisingly good. The controls in this game are extremely good. It's remarkable how well the Vectrex plays and Mindstorm in particular. It feels a lot more like an arcade machine than the Atari 2600 ever did. Having a bad level here, but I'll pick the game back up. Note that it's a lot like Asteroids in that there's standard large enemies which you shoot and then they break into two smaller enemies, which you can then break into two even smaller enemies. I like to pick off the larger ones one at a time if possible. The enemies that look like squares shoot something out at you when you blow them up, so you've got to be careful. And then there's the things that are following you. They're a real pain in the ass. All of this means there's a nice variety of bad guys to shoot in Mindstorm. If you like Asteroids and Geometry Wars, this game is worth the price of a Vectrex, which actually doesn't cost all that much, believe it or not. It's kind of an odd system in that you play it on its own monitor, but, but this game is so damn good you should play it, and it's fluid. The vector-based graphics have a very, very unique visual style. You know, they're, they're the kind of computer graphics you'd see in the old Battlestar Galactica shows from the 70s. Very sharp, very clear, and you can break this thing out, put it on top of your table or bar or whatever at home and play, play it during a party when you have some friends over. Everybody will be impressed because it's a Vectrex. See, that damn thing broke off and hit me. It's not my fault. They told me they fixed my game in Mindstorm, which I'm about to repair here and finish with a, with a strong ending. The Vectrex controller has real arcade style buttons so you can just blast away on this thing in rapid fire. In between each level it gives you that really cool hyperspace effect and you'd never get anything like that back in the early 1980s on the Atari.
game over, but we're all winners for having witnessed a game being played on the Vectrex. This has been Mindstorm, the game that comes with the Vectrex. There's a party in the Vectrex, and you're all invited. Just pick one up and play this yourself. Mindstorm is easily good enough to be ported over to the newer game consoles. And I'll do a better job with focus on my review of Berserk, which is coming next. Not sure what I did. I must have moved the Vectrex back while playing it. Apparently I'm wearing a white hat. Either start making Vectrexes again or bring it to PS3 and 360 and whatever. Just don't forget the overlay. <laughs>